John from Heroes and Legends. And we got some breaking Magic the Gathering news. We got our first look at the Hascon exclusive promos that will be available at the event at the beginning of September. And we'll take a closer look at all of these. I'll let you know what we know about this product. Now, quickly before we get started, if you check out the description below, you'll find a couple ways to help support us, one of which is our Amazon affiliate store. If you make any purchases via the links there, a small percentage will come back to help support us. Always goes a long way. And secondly, you'll also find our Patreon page linked below as well. With that out of the way, let's get into the information for today. All right, here's the full photograph of this product. Now, there's a couple things you can't see here. You can't see the golden dragon token, which isn't pictured here. That's the fourth card. And you can't see the other side to the Grimlock card, because, of course, Grimlock is a transform card. Other than that, we can see everything else. Now, if you're curious as to how to pick up this product, you would have to go to Hascon in early September and purchase the Magic the Gathering weekend package. Now, that's a $600 package. Of course, you get a lot of other stuff included in that besides just these cards, but it's still very expensive. So these cards are going to be relatively limited. Now, the good news is Sword of Dungeons and Dragons, as well as that Dragon Token, are going to be in Unstable. So you can get that card in packs of Unstable as well as the Token. So that's kind of nice. The other two, however, at this point at least, are limited just to this product. Now, a quick reminder before we look at each of these cards, these are silver bordered cards. So they are not tournament legal. You would not be able to play these in standard or modern, for example. You could play them in casual games, though. Sometimes casual cubes will have silver bordered cards in them. Some commander groups will allow you to play with silver bordered cards. But think of it this way. This is definitely meant to be a casual kind of fun product with a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek look at some of the other Hasbro brands. Let's take a closer look at Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. This will be an unstable. It costs three. It's an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from rogues and from clerics. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, create a 4-4 four, four gold dragon creature token with flying and roll a d20. If you roll a 20, repeat the process. Costs two to equip. So a fun rift, of course, on the swords from the history of magic, as well as bringing in kind of the d20 from Dungeons and Dragons. I like in the art that the sword actually has a d20 on the handle. That's actually pretty cool. We'll look at Grimlock. Of course, we can only see the front of the card. Grimlock Dinobot Leader, white, green, and red in one. Legendary artifact creature Autobot 4-4. Four, four. Dinosaurs, vehicles, and other transformers, all rights reserved. Creatures you control get plus two plus zero. Oh. Pay two. Convert a transformer toy you own to its other mode. Grimlock Dinobot Leader becomes Grimlock Ferocious King. So unfortunately, we can't see that other side, but the card seems pretty sweet. I love the flavor text here. Me Grimlock no like you, which I believe was actually from the animated movie in the 80s, the Transformers movie, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it was just from a regular episode of the cartoon. I'm pretty sure it was from the movie, <laughs> so that's actually pretty sweet. And let's look at that last card. Nerf War, a red, a blue, and three, sorcery. Fire a nerf, again, all rights reserve, blaster, until empty a target library from at least two meters away. For each card knocked off that library, put it into its owner's graveyard, and Nerf War deals a half damage to that player. Foam darts only. <laughs> and it has flavor text as well. I'll tell you one thing, it's not nothing. And that's Garge, Grabclaw, Go Goblin Sergeant. So uh, it looks like the <laughs> the goblins are getting hit by Nerf arrows. So that's actually kind of cool art there. That's pretty sweet too. So I like the cards. I mean, they're really sweet. Like I said, limited what you can actually do with them. And... Really, if you're going to spend the $600 on the package or a nice little bonus include, it'll be interesting to see, like, value-wise what happens with these cards, considering they will be pretty limited, although the one card in the token will see a reprint very, very soon and unstable. However, it'll be strange to see what happens in the secondary market with these things, because I'm sure there's going to be a group of people that want to pick these up and are willing to pay a premium price for them, considering the rarity here. So we'll have to watch and wait and see what happens there. But that's the news for today. Until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.